I'm going to show you in this week's video how you can help save our oceans, have fun doing so, and feel a little bit like an astronaut because you'll be helping NASA to do it too. Mm. NASA has launched a new game called Nemo Net. It's a game that will teach you all about corals as you go on dives from your research vessel. You earn badges, you earn points, you get to learn about how to ID corals and different species in our oceans, including algae and marine invertebrates, as you make your way up the food chain from plankton to other species and you get to dive with all of these creatures. It's a really relaxing game with a really relaxing music and such a cheery game design, but if that wasn't enough, it isn't just a game. But if you're wondering why NASA is getting involved in exploring oceans instead of far off distant planets, well, at the start, a great introduction video is delivered by Dr. Sylvia Earle, who is an oceanographer and a um, deep sea explorer. And she says that we know more about the surface of Mars and the Moon than we do about our own oceans. And I don't think there is any more explanation needed than that. And one of the areas which we know less about is coral reefs. And uh, we may be underestimating exactly how much coral we have, what state that coral is in, and the more information we know, the more likely we're gonna be able to come up with solutions to help protect such a threatened but critical ecosystem. NASA has set up NemoNet and is aiming to change this. It's aiming for us to learn more about our corals, more about what's there, and start to correct some of the problems that we've been finding with monitoring uh, the data um, that we have, we being human knowledge, I haven't actually been involved in this project, but I really would love to. <laughs> they are using new types of software, new ways to correct the data that we have, uh, having a giant supercomputer that can actually machine learn, but that is where this game comes in. NemoNet has been able to produce 3D models of coral reefs, and uh, using satellite images and data as well, we've got 2D images of giant uh, reef ecosystems, and they're using this game as a way to help the supercomputer learn exactly what types of, how to use this data, how to view the coral and how to pick out and categorise what it is. In the game, you get presented with a 3D reef model and it will teach you as you go along the different types of coral, tell you about them and tell you what they look like, as well as showing you marine invertebrates and bare surface, you then colour in this model which is pretty fun and really relaxing. Um, and the further up you go, you can kind of be surrounded by weirder and greater and awesomer marine environments as you do this colouring as kind of a reward um, for doing this. Once you've coloured in the surface, you actually submit it and it goes to the supercomputer and it's helping to teach the supercomputer exactly what those corals look like and exactly what category they should go in. So eventually, hopefully, the supercomputer will be able to look at the models that um, NemoNet can produce and work out exactly what they are on its own. But in the meantime, you guys get to help along. You actually get to contribute to this research by playing a game and helping this supercomputer learn. From my marine biology standpoint, from my marine biology perspective, this project is astounding. The technology and the effort that must have gone into producing ways to make these models, to make the game, to all the background work of uh, fixing the problems of water distortion is incredible. And as you play the game, they show you real clips from the real scientists working on it and exactly what it is that they're trying to fix and how they're doing it which is just really, really interesting to learn and just, just, it's just an astounding feat. Not only is this project helping to save corals, helping to show research with, must be computer scientists, marine biologists, engineers, who knows, all the people working at NASA to produce um, this surface but it's also involving the community that we can help out we can go on and play a game and 
it's helping to spread awareness of corals and teach people about corals as well. I think it's just such a great project and something that you should definitely, definitely if you want to spend some time just doing a really chilled out activity and learn about our oceans, then this is for you. So if you have a passion for our oceans, you want to pass the time and you want to learn about corals in the process, then head on over, set up, find your random marine username. I chose Intent Kraken because I love the idea of a Kraken being even more intense than normal. And get cracking! <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to see more videos on marine creatures, marine life, um, rock crawling, exploring, or uh, watch me in my videos with my cap collection, I chose this one um, for this day's video, if you can guess why, um, comment below, <laughs> hopefully you get the reference. Um, then subscribe and like this video and I will be back next Wednesday where I, because I produce weekly videos every single Wednesday, I'm here telling you guys more awesome stuff about our oceans or about awesome things that I love, like this app that you guys um, can get involved in. Have a great week, see you later.